All right, October 28, 2024, market update. I'm going to move a little sideways today. Typically, I talk about stocks, bonds, currencies, commodities. This week, I'm going to really emphasize the stock market and the MAG4 earnings that are happening this week. A lot of them happening on Halloween, which is going to be hopefully not spooky. But let's talk about that. I want to go into each of those. And we're going to get an idea of where they're likely to go to based on their current option prices coming into this morning. So first, last week I talked about the S&P being up 23% year to date. Again, we had that target that we looked at based on the moves that happened in April, all right, pulling us back. Uh, you know, into that 540 low and getting that next support level of 567. We hit our support levels already. What has happened since then? A lot of nothing, right? So in the last five days, we have dropped, we've pulled back once again, and we're sitting right above 582, which is where we were last week. A lot of consolidation. Is this the, an election strategy, which the markets are all calling buy the rumor and sell the news? Right? Are we looking at a buy the rumor sell news event before the election for the stock market? Possibly, but it could possibly be something else. What that something else is, is our MAG four stocks that are reporting this week. So I want to talk about each of the four stocks. Let's start with Apple. And as you can see, I've got some, some comments on the screen that I want to make sure that I cover. Most of that chart in the background is what we want, we want to talk about. So Apple reports on Halloween. What you're looking at here behind that is you're seeing uh, the market moving back and forth. Apple's lows were below 195, uh, actually 193.12. The highs were 236.48. It is not hitting new all-time highs. In fact, the last time it hit the all-time highs was back around the beginning of July. All right? Expectations are they will break through those July highs this week. Option volatility, and this is the 30 to 60 day options where you're seeing the lows down here are in the 20s and the highs around 35. All right, here's where we are right now heading into those uh, the, the that Q3 earnings. Not spiking really hard. Part of that's because Apple's been trending higher. And part of that's also because uh, a lot of the analysts that cover Apple feel pretty comfortable with what they see uh, as far as earnings coming out. Although, when we as option traders look at the options, we see this. We see the November 1st expiration date. The calls are priced around 405 to buy them. The puts uh, are priced. These are the nearest to the uh, nearest to the stock price at 470. You put those together, and that's eight dollars and 75 cents. So that's the target range above and below current price of Apple that the, the stock expects to stay in. That's about a seven percent move up or down after the earnings. So by the end of the week, we should see Apple being in that range, all right? So that is a range that should hold, uh, that, that has a statistical or a standard deviation of holding, all right? That's our, our beginning standard deviation range. Look at Amazon. Amazon has seen lows down around 150. It's seen highs up around 200. Where is it at right now? Trading around 189.51. When I snap this chart, they haven't broken their year-to-date highs either. In fact, they haven't broken them since June. And they are expected to be on the high side, especially volatility. Look at the volatility chart. This is the blue line. This is that seven, that 30 to 60-day vol. Again, 22 on the low, 40 on the high. Where are we at right now? We're trading right above 36. So we're closer to the high side. Right. So we're at that expectation is that we will break uh we look to break above 200 but 200 is round number resistance and that's year to date resistance uh high volatility coming in how high are we talking well again it it looks high but when you look at the percentages pretty much the same thing the at the money calls and at the money puts those are the 190s that are priced into expiration of this week twelve dollars and sixty cents right that's about a seven percent move after earnings uh just like apple take a look at meta Meta is number three to report. In fact, they report in two days. They're reporting the day of uh, the, the, uh, right after the uh, 30th of October. Their IV is also on the high side. You look at the stock price. Stock price is down here at around 453 on the low, 
Uh, it looks like about 600 on the high. Right now, it's trading around 577, closer to the high to the low. Same thing with the um, 30 to 60 day options, right? Near their highs heading into their Q3 earnings report. It looks like they're going to be about an 8% move when you take the at the money calls and the at the money puts. You price those together. That's about $46.85, 8% of the current stock price heading into earnings that it's expected to be in that range. Finally, Alphabet. Well, they're the first to report this week. They report tomorrow after the close. IV should top July by tomorrow. We should see that IV because it's actually on a run right now. Um, and the interesting thing about, about Alphabet is it's neither near its high or its low. It's pretty much right in the middle uh, trading around 167.48. So if that vol comes up to that area, we see uh, again. What does that mean? That means that volatility real on the low side was at 24. On the high side is the high 30s. That equates into what? Seven percent. Seven percent. When you take the at the money call and the at the money put, and you put those together, that's ten dollars and ninety five cents for what I call the earnings straddle. That's where the expected range of Google is supposed to stay in. Again, 7% move between now and the end of the week. That is through the earnings cycle. So our takeaways for this market update, which is mainly um, looking at those MAG4 stocks, we've got some major consolidation heading into next week's election, right? Or is it possibly consolidation that's heading into this week's Q3 earnings for the MAG4? Again, you take a look at those stocks. Those seven stocks uh, represent, I believe it's something in the, in the high 90s of what the S&P has done this year, what the stock market's done. The majority have been seven stocks. Those other 493 stocks really haven't made up a lot of the move for the S&P 500. Finally, again, the MAG 7 stocks so far this year are pricing in the 7 to 8% to eight earnings. If you remember, Tesla was the highest. They were pricing in 10% earnings, and look what Tesla did. It nearly doubled that range. So anyone that bought straddles or calls into Tesla, that was a winner on a typically losing strategy. It's going to happen every once in a while, folks. But the rest of MAG 7 stocks are all pricing in around 7 to 8%. We'll see how the rest of them do, the majority of them do, by the end of this week.